How we met was at Northern Illinois University. I was the president of the Best Buddies chapter there. For the first like six years of our relationship, we were just friends. <laughs> I ended up getting a job in the same school district. We kept talking, became really good friends. I actually wrote her a note in a middle school fashion, wrote her a note, said check one. I said, do you want to go on a date with me? First words were, be for real right now. Look how skinny your legs are there. These are awesome. I mean, Joe. We went out to uh, Bar Louie in Bolingbrook and she pretty much told me that there were no sparks. <laughs> Exact words. That's her. That's her uh, name in my phone book. <laughs> no <Yeah>. spark. <laughs> no spark. We stopped oh. talking for a while. Yes. So then you backed off. We you took played. a little hiatus. But we are still always friends. Like we still always kept in touch. Always talked. I, re I realized that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with Jill. I think chapter one, date one. <laughs> um, after she said there was no spark I was truly crushed I think on the inside because I just kind of it just felt so right and so natural and talking to her and I I just couldn't get I couldn't get past it everyone you know all my friends move on you know and I just for some reason I just kept coming back he, he tried for two years yeah it was, it was like a, a two-year gap I had just gotten home from a trip in Chile and I was just like missing family, missing home. Like that was, I was like really homesick. And I was like coming home on the plane and I was just excited to see him. It was at the patio that like, he was like, oh, I'm pulling up and I saw him and I saw him walking through the windows and I like walked up and you know, he just gave me a kiss on the forehead. That's how I remember it. And like he <laughs> kissed me and then I cried. That's when I just knew it was like different. There were sparks. <laughs> there were sparks that time. Yeah. I knew in my head that he was gonna be someone that I ended up with. He's everything that I want and you're everything that I was looking for. And then it, it was just like under my nose that whole time. I think the biggest word that comes to my mind about how to describe Jill is passion. I think Jill's extremely passionate with everything she does in her life. Extremely passionate teacher. With her students, she's very passionate. She's very passionate about her family, her mom, um, her siblings, and, and keeping in touch with them. And then just her passion is something that I really admire and one of the reasons I love her. The union of husband and wife Heart, body, and mind is intended by God for the mutual companionship, help, and support that each person ought to receive from the other. Doug, you may now kiss your bride. stepped in and ran the last half, or the last mile with me. Uh, he was always there, giving me words of encouragement, making me run better, just being Doug, his goopy little self, with that <laughs> smile, that, oh. <laughs> For Jill and Doug, they learned the lyrics first to their song, and the melody came later, but it still makes it extremely special. And what more is that when you forget the lyrics to your own song, you now have your partner to sing them back to you.